discussion. I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very special moment now. Really pleased to be joined by Bill McDonough. Thank you very much for joining me here. It's outside of the Ice House. Right. It's built. It's built. What are you most excited about with this project? Well, the thing that I think is truly amazing about it for me is that we were able to put it up in seven days. Next week, it will move to Amsterdam. It's a building that illustrates the concepts of cradle to cradle, where one thing's waste and another thing's food. So this becomes a useful building over and over again and never ends up in a landfill, ever. So it's technical nutrition. That excites me. It also excites me that in front of the, the astonishing audience that occurs in Davos, we get to show a strategy that's actually about providing a new building system that can be turned into something useful for the people in need around the world, for billions of people. And so this is illustrating it using aluminum and a prototype as an experiment. And this frame, which has these bolts bringing all these directions together in one place, is made up of two elements, this mm -hmm. one and this one. And if you imagine the amount of recycled plastics with composites, mm -hmm. very strong, people could have very strong structures to do any kind of architecture they want anywhere in the world with materials that are free or cheaper than free. So I love the fact that it's three, two pieces right. and one bolt, and it right. can be assembled with one wrench. Is right. that right? Well, two wrenches. Two you'd, wrenches. Hold, you'd hold one and twist the and other. Twist the other yeah. one. All right. Now, this is the sort of prototype. Right. And what are you thinking? What have you learned from this building that might be interesting to apply for the next version two? I think that the things that struck me, I was working on housing for those in need around the world with these materials. Mm -hmm. But it turns out that even this one in the aluminum as a mock-up mm -hmm is actually a very dignified, solid building, and people mm -hmm. are really enjoying it. And it's amazing how many people have come and said, this is beautiful, which mm -hmm. is what I was hoping. And they're curious about it. But we've also had people come in and say, can I have one of these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because very competent building. And the materials are also, this is the first nanotechnology insulation mm -hmm. that's Cradle to Cradle certified. And one inch of this material is the same as this much styrofoam. So tell me about this. How is this, how is this made? It's made from silica, mm -hmm. and it's so essentially sand, but it's put in a form that allows it to be a, a super insulator. And, in terms and it's poured into the, into the polycarbonate. Okay. Yeah. And it's entirely movable. You can take pieces right. out. And so if, if I were a school, for example, in right. Latin America, and I needed to adjust for the sun, how would, that, how would I adjust this building? Well, you can orient it any way you want. It's, mm -hmm. And so it's light. You can start organizing yourself, set up a frame, move it in the sunshine, see how it's going to mm -hmm. work. And then because of these surfaces here, you can put sunshades mm -hmm. between here and the next one. And so you can actually have louvers on it. So if it's facing west and you get overheated in the afternoon, you can have sunshades that actually sit right in the frame. So after you put your building up, you can actually tune it to the sun angles, the day and night, summer, winter, whatever you need. What's next? What would you like to see this project used for next? This will go to be the information center and brainstorming center at the new hub for, um, for the circular economy. Mm -hmm. It will be a national hub for the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. The country has declared. It will go there. Fantastic. And then perhaps if somebody wants it back here, mm -hmm. um, Sabic, who is the company that, that put the resources in to make it possible mm -hmm. and put in the, all the polymer work. They have this building and so they can donate it back mm -hmm. for use by various people. And I think the plan would be to make sure as many people as possible benefit from exposure to it. Finally, just in terms of where you could see it being used, we've talked about how it could be used as a sh sun shelter for people in Latin America, right. for example. You can build stories on top of it so you can right. make a house, a school, anything. Are there any limitations to it? Well, it's, it's, um, it's only a frame. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to not try and give people houses or things that express some techno culture. Mm -hmm. It's really to be invisible. It's a gift. So it's a structure for a roof or a floor or a wall. Or a bridge. That, or a bridge or a sunshade for children on a football field where they could put solar collectors and have new Cradle to Cradle certified batteries. Mm -hmm and charge their cell phones and learn about solar energy and the kids build them. So mm -hmm. the next audience for this, for me, will be children, 10 year olds, assembling them as play structures in football pitches through Latin America. So they can see it all work. And that way, some of the most powerful, wealthy people in the world have seen it as a concept, even if it was in a strange and beautiful form. Mm -hmm. And then the children, who are the least powerful, will get it and be able to show that. And then the parents can all look at it and say, wait a minute, 
I could build a roof with that material. So for the, for the housing and so on, the trusses will be smaller. Mm -hmm. So they fit within a roof structure of a house. They can be in a floor, you know. So it's very simple. And it can be transferred, transported quite easily. So for example... These all pack in space. Mm -hmm. They ship together. Mm -hmm. This entire building structure, the roof, the walls, and the base, which is sitting on a roof. So it's all structured also. So it can go into rough terrain. Mm -hmm. All would fit in three crates that size because they all pack together. And for example, the, um, a structure in, in Latin America that might house, might shelter a, some kids on a football field, right. could be packed into a box that could be carried by somebody on a bicycle? Well, I think with about 16 kilos, we can have a box that big mm -hmm. that you could carry under your arm and ride a bicycle and take 12 trips and you'd end up with a big structure with solar collectors and batteries and the kids could put it together. All right, Bill, thank you very much You're for welcome. coming outside the Hub Culture yeah. Pavilion here in Davos and I'm Edie Lash.